because like the way that I speak or tech or work technically is I ask questions as statements. So like uh, I get it. So you think you think I'm like my father instead of it being like uh and have an actual question mark on the end of it. I just you think I'm like my father. I just present it to you like, hey, this is what you think. It's my question, but I'm only giving it as a statement. Yes, but you see, this is kind of the confirmation bias. This is you already having the answer. You're confirming you think I'm like that. Right. As opposed to, I have to ask somebody something, uh. which then engages me down a whole different path. <laughs> Instead of me, I just got ghosted. So I, I probably should call the guy up and be like, is it something I said? Question mark. As opposed to, okay, I guess you don't like me. I don't know that. I don't know that. See what I'm saying? One, now he may end up saying he doesn't like me. But one is sort of like keeps me in this comfortable space of having my own answer. The answers are all out there. They have to, you have, the answer comes by asking. But then the actor has to take the hit, and you take the hit in life. Uh, it's, it's literally asking, why am I here on this planet? What does this mean? Where am I going? Why do I seek? What, why do I want to be an actor when it would be so much easier to like live <laughs> wherever else? So what do you do in the event that you actually know the answers to these things? But like, you have like, yes, we're constantly asking questions, but yeah. like I, I've, I've asked these questions and like I've gone down deep rabbit holes with stuff and I've also come out with like, yeah, I actually, I've got this kind of figured out. I, ha I have an understanding of certain things. But I also understand that there isn't a full understanding of things. Okay. So I, I am, I do that, but like... Well, Mason, here's the thing. I think we, I think, listen, I respect that. And I think as you get older, what I think is dangerous about people as they get older is they get so stuck on that belief that they have it figured out, that they stop learning, they stop being curious, and they stop really staying engaged in the real dance of life. But isn't like, if I figured out that you'll never have it figured out. Yes. That's the same thing. Okay, yes. But if you really know that, that should be a very freeing experience. That's just pride, that's the same thing. It's no different than someone saying like, oh, I figured out that this is the truth. That's just another version of someone saying, I figured out the truth and then projecting it on somebody else. If your objection is that the truth is, there is no truth, that's a truth statement. That's the same thing. So either way, you're going one direction. Right? Well, I guess it, 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 the, the question that should be asked, though, then, is, is which one opens you to a deeper experience? That's all. Okay. Yeah. I'm not here to fulfill for people. We have to, everybody's on their own journey of figuring that them out themselves. But the thing that, you know, it's like, as I get older, I realize I don't know anything about anything. And that's scary, but that's also exciting because that means there's so much more still to discover. Right, yeah. Okay. But, 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 but people stop living from that place. And as artists, we cannot. Let me just say this one last thing. My, my point is, is like every time we think we've, we understand life or our predicament, I just always advocate go to, go to like Sub Sahara Africa, go to Sudan, go to Syria. And you'll be like, all constructs of what we really think living on this planet is about is going to be shot to shit. Because we're all just privilege. So sometimes we fill in the answers to our lives based on our privilege of being born in the Western Hemisphere. But that doesn't solve the big existential questions I want us to be living in. Because then that becomes a real searching for what is the meaning of art anyway? And it gave me an opportunity to explore that weird existential stuff that we were talking about. Okay. Um, about like asking questions. Uh huh. Um, oddly enough, like one of the reasons I wanted to watch Moon is just because of the relation between himself. Right. So it was kind of fun to have that because the thought that I've been having of like, um, why don't I ask questions and that type of stuff that we were talking Talk about, about last, last week. week. Um, one of the ideas that popped up throughout the week was like, I think it's because I'm afraid that I will be a different person.
Whoa. If I ask enough questions, I might change. Um, yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. Whoa. Wow. I don't, and I like who I am. Yeah. Like, I, 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 like, I like what I've done. I like where I'm at. Um, I like my persona. And I like what I put out. And so, like, there's this fear of, like, what if I ask a question and then I become a totally different person? I don't know what that looks like. Um, and so there's a really fun aspect of playing, like, with yourself and seeing, like, maybe that's who I became. Uh -huh. And, like, I don't know how I feel about it yet. Okay. So, like, during the scene, there's this feeling of, like, I don't like this person and I don't like what he's done. And then there's also this, like, you know, I really, I hope that I become a little bit like him. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's this yeah. weird... So, well, as far as, like, the existential thoughts go, that was fun. But, Mason, listen, I think that that was such a powerful statement, what you just said there. and. I encourage you to keep asking the questions because you know who you'll discover are, is a, a, a completely, how shall I say it? That I think that there are worlds that exist within us that we are, are hidden to us until we start to be brave enough to move past our habits, our tendencies, our constructs, our conversations, the way we choose to see the world and try to open to something else yeah and it can be scary it's totally scary it's scary because like but i promise you it's better i promise you i think that's what frightens me a little bit is it's this fear of like what if this is as good as good as it gets as good as mason gets and like the questions take me like way down the wrong path it's you not know? but because you see, even even posing that question brought up all these discoveries. So how could it be as good as it gets? It's impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. This is deep shit. It's simple, but it's deep. Okay, I think those are some amazing epiphanies, Mason. Keep keep searching and keep asking. Great job, great job.